just thought about it. Oh, they're running away from me now. Cool. Just thought about it, man. Um. Supposed to go to the Starlight Express. Why is this guy here? Man, if Liza. I hear fans are really good in this game. I had read that somewhere. I just need to do some more reading about this game, man. I need to do some steadying. Bit steady uh, games like this when you got so many choices and stuff. I like to steady and tell me what's going on, what's happening, what this item do. I feel like that. I might like be blind, man. Hang on, hang on a minute. Starfight looks exactly like the flapping scene. I was sure he'd be given a new release in life by now. If the Almighty had known how good wear it and decided to help out, it'd be all glowing. I can't have gone the wrong end of the gear stick for this one, can I? No, of course not. What am I saying? Come on. I'm sure to perk up once we get inside. We'll just walk in. I don't believe it. It all looks exactly the flapping scene. Oh, we were in after all that trouble. Has the Almighty decided to turn a blind ear on us or something? Yikes! What was that? The whole thing moved when you came in just then. When you came in. That's it. That's it, Sue. The benevolence you got from heaven that night has given you back some of your celestial powers. It looks like my first instinct didn't sink up with all the soft light. With Flash, he has a celestial on board. But first, you need to help people so you can get your powers back. Get back all your powers and we'll have an old girl flying like a dream again. We better flat footed over the town behind the checkpoint. There's crump packed with people that need our help. Woohoo, there's hope at last. Time to dismark on a mission of mortal mercy. <laughs> Alright then. So now, we are two head. Wait. I love how items look. I love how the weapon armor and weapon and all that look look like look visually different on your character. I love when games do that. I mean, it's been it's getting kind of coming now, but you know, a large deal ago. That wasn't the case. Oh, that's the time up there. I think that's good. Damn. What's the difference between a one and a staff?
don't even know. What are these things? What what the hell are they? I've never seen them before, I don't think. Whatever. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen them before. Played this game before. So. They, they came in discussion at least once or twice. Ow. Okay, we starting to get here for a decent amount now. Coughing well. All right. The church. We'll say it down after we leave. Get ready to leave. Yeah. I remember right. You have to tell the mayor. That's what it says. Oh, it's no use. I don't understand a word of it. I have to rely on his help after all. Oh, I have no choice. I must do something. I beg your pardon. I didn't realize we had guests. I'm Mayor Laria. May I assist you with something? Hmm? Concerned about what's going on here in Coffinwell? Well, well, I'll tell you all I know. I'm sure you're already aware Coffinwell has been hit by the contagious disease. The fact is, the very same disease attacked the town a century ago. I started looking through the ancient manuscripts for a solution, but I'm afraid I barely understood a word. I won't be beaten though. I passed them on to pill pillaging in the hopes that he might be able to make some sense of them. I imagine it won't be long before he turns something up, but I'm afraid I'm rather low to go ask him in person. Of course, you don't care about what's been going on here, don't you? In that case, perhaps you could pop along and put him in a place for me and see he's getting on. This house is just west of my mansion. Sorry to trouble you, but I really would appreciate it if you paid him a visit. Alright. Oops, sorry. I must have dozed off. I I ain't been doing that awful lot lately. Oh, <laughs> are you looking for Plickman by any chance? Oops, I mean Dr. Plickman, my husband? Eek, my husband. Feel all silly calling him that. Oh, excuse my wife, and I'm afraid Plickman at work in his new laboratory. Really? The um, mayor asked you to go see him, did he? Well, in that case, I'll go along with you. I'll let you into the laboratory. Plickman's a bit shy around strangers, you see. Oops, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? I'm Plitme's wife, Katarina. Now I go on ahead. Alright. Go on ahead, Katarina. Brain time skirt. What? <laughs> I see that, you know. I can't believe Daddy would ask a stranger to blizzard Plitme, do you? Really find it hard to talk to. <laughs> You're here already, I'll go get him up then. Katarina, is that you? What are you doing here at this hour? Sorry to disturb you, Plit me. You have a visitor. Daddy sent the message to find out how you're getting along to decipher an old manuscript. Huh. Well, I suppose you come in then. That 
a million and one things to do for the moment, but I suppose the messenger from father-in-law takes precedence. So what can I? Ah, uh, that's right. You come to find out what's going on in the manuscript, haven't you? <coughs> you forgetting some Plickman? You haven't introduced yourself yet. I don't see how that matters, silly. Time-consuming formality, in my opinion. Oh, very well. Pleased to meet you. The name's Dr. Plickman. I study ecology and the like. And you are, Sue. So, well, I'm trying to remember your name, but I can't guarantee I'll be successful. Anyway, never mind that. I think I found a clue in the old manuscripts at the nature of this illness that's been going around. Oh, flick me. I knew you could do it. Around a hundred years ago, some old urines were discovered in the western town. The people who discovered it rather rashly decided that it would be a good idea to venture inside. Little did they know that a terrible misfortune had laid wait in form of a deadly contagion. Oh, it's this contagion that lies behind our current academic. According to the manuscripts, it's actually more accurate to refer to it as a curse than a disease. The town people were able to break the curse by sealing the contagion away in the ruins and blocking up the entrance. But for some reason, the disease has managed to escape again. It's possible the recent earthquake may have caused some damage to seal that was keeping it contained. So all we have to do is go to the shrine and seal it away again. Indeed, although it's not quite as simple as it sounds, I'm probably the only one who would be able to do it, in fact. Oh, so you're going to fix the seal and save us all, Flippy? Well, I suppose I couldn't hurt. I'd even encourage your father to finally think of me worthy of you. It would be a good opportunity for me to explore the ruins, so I'm certain not adverse to the idea. The only problem is that monster activity that reported rather heavily. I don't want to get hurt. Alright, so tell the mayor what's going on here. Alright, uh, yeah. Uh, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, yeah, 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 right here. Ah, oh, I was wondering when you get to it. So, what did you find out? Mm -hmm. Goodness, the disease is being caused by some kind of contagious curse, and the way to contain it is to fix some kind of seal in the shrine in the rest of town. You say that Plitman is the only one capable of this? Very well, the situation is clear to me now. Hmm. Well, you look like you could take care of yourself fairly well. I suppose I could interest you in going along with Plitman, safety and numbers and all that. If he thinks this friend is hesitant, then I happily appreciate a bodyguard. Naturally, I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? Yes! You'll do it excellent, excellent. Much to blast and all that. Well, we better not waste any time. Take the key to Plitman, won't you? Yay. I got a key. The quarantine key. That's the key to the shrine of the rest of town. You should be able to open up with that. Yeah. There's no way of deadly disease. It's the perfect way to help people. Imagine how grateful they all be if we succeed. We have a burn load of burn evidence. It'll be fully fledged celestine again in a week or hour. Alright. This like went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I have no idea where I'm at. Hmm? What's the key you got there? So gives the quantum quarantine cleave to Dr. Plinkman. Really? Father in law asked you to be my brother? Let me see that there for you. So he managed to rope you in and helping out, has he? Well, I suppose I have no choice then. I better go, hadn't I? Don't want that old man to think I'm all mouth and no trousers. Mm, I'm not sure it's quite like that, Flippy. There's no time to stand about discussing the whys and wherefores. I need to leave for the shrine. Where are we? It's off to the west of town. I'm heading there now. Don't keep me waiting. Alright, so we say. Go to the, let's go to the um the thingy. We say we gonna heal. All the good stuff. 
Get down here real quick. What? Huh? Okay. Oh, they need that here, okay. Press that in and say... Pretty sure I get a bunch of new gear I can buy, too. Put a weapon shop at anyway. Need about this cell. Definitely need to get that step. Oh, a whip. I can get a whip. No, I need more MP is ocean right. You know. Right here, that over. The razor claw. And we got about a whole bunch of new armor. We need three of them. Oh, blues. I'm gonna suppose. I did get a skirt. I got a pink skirt. I don't need caps for the other three. But you know, what claws for? No, she don't need no. Okay, she don't need no. Boot. All right, so I gotta buy a lot of gear, guys. I'm out. But you know, let's check. Let's check out the place. I remember right, it's metal, there's some metal, little metal guys here, and you know how that is by Dragon Quest. One of the nice places to um, form it. So, you know, I want to access those on stream before I'm on. Before I say, okay, I'm, I'm on, you know, green, um, whatever, right? Get me? Alright. 
So yeah, we're gonna assess that. We're gonna get to the point. If I remember right, the, the, this next place is pretty easy for the most part. You don't really gotta. It's not that it's easy. It's short. It's very short. So I wanna go ahead and have access to the metal slimes off stream. Just in case I decide to, you know, frame her. Oh my god. Explosion, please. That was a very drawn out fight when you think about it. Give me a beat this contagion thing. I'm just looking at how strong my characters are and thinking, I can beat them. I probably can beat them, but I ain't gonna, I'm not, I wanna, you know, get the best gear. I saw them things, I was like, oh my god, the fuck is that? You took your time, uh, Sue, was it? See here, I did what I said, the shrine collapsed on the time earthquake, and entrance has been left wide open. No bow the way I was see it was supposed to keep the contagion contained. Better head inside, make sure. I went far along for it. Okay. I remember it's very easy. So that's why we're just gonna go on ahead and do it. That water? What? Oh no no. this button. First this button on. He just What? That was I didn't see that. opens the boss room. See how simple that was? So yeah, I want to go on and do that. So, you know, we're gonna go back. We're gonna, um, we're gonna, you know, heal, save, and then I'ma stop, you know, do my farming session. Then we'll co continue back home from that point. You know, to the boss. Dig? Get me? You get me? You understand me? Alright. 
Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Good plan, right? Yeah, that's what we do. I guess I could have died there, I really tried. It didn't feel like it though. Stomach is grumbling. I gotta get something to eat, guys. Oh! Get on to the save point here. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, next time you see us, we should be a, a good deal stronger with some better gear. And, um, like, you know, um, like I said before, man, thanks for watching. Yeah, I don't know what it takes. I really don't. Um, so guys, that's it. See ya.